Haiti Community Hospital, I couldn't work and live in my hometown. Without Haiti Community Hospital, I would have to travel three times a week for my physical therapy. Without Haiti Community Hospital, I miss a lot of school for my orthopedic doctor's appointments. Without Haiti Community Hospital emergency room, I might not be here. Haina Community Hospital. We'll be here when you need us. After playing 16 of the first 18 games on the road, Pena opened up a five-game home stretch on Friday night as they played host to the Carlisle Indians. This is only our, you know, our third home game. We played 69-18 on the road, which is kind of wild in itself. Uh, but it, it was nice to be in front of the fans. The student section did a great job again. The fans did well. The Panthers got on the board with this hanging jumper from Kyle Lynch. But Payne struggled in this one early as Carlisle was able to work their way inside for easy scores. The Panthers looked like they might get a spark from this Seth Vaughn rejection. Coach Metzger sure appreciates the good D, and it led to this Brock DeWerf score. The Indians Drew Johnson, though, stole back the momentum with this three, and Carlisle held a 15-9 advantage after one quarter, even despite Adam Miller ringing up a three of his own to end the first quarter. Lynch would put up another pretty shot to start the second. This time a turnaround bank shot off the glass. But Carlisle was able to go on another run with more inside scoring and tons of second chance opportunities. They built their lead to 13 in the process and it wasn't looking good for the Panthers. Kangaroo Jack didn't think so anyway. Brock DeWerf and Kyle Lynch were able to string together a couple of nice finishes in the paint and Payne was able to cut the first half lead to seven at 30 to 23. Struggled a little bit in the first half. Yeah. Turnovers, a lot of second chance points for them. Uh, what was working for them? You know, they're, they're big. We knew that coming in. Uh, we did all sorts of stuff on the post guys. We'd front them, we'd go around, we're doubling, playing a little zone, little man, whatever we had to do. Uh, they just made some nice passes. They were able, like you said, second chance points. Part of that's rotation. If you're coming to double, you're helping. Guy may be open, but I mean, they're extremely physical. Uh, you know, we tried to emulate that a little bit in practice, but, you know, at the end of the day, they're, they're just getting the job done on the boards and uh, sticking the ball in the hole. Despite the slow start, the Panthers found their rhythm in the third quarter where they were able to get some penetration on the dribble drive and get baskets inside. Check out this fancy finish from Lynch. Pretty sweet. That's right, guys. The Calvary had arrived. The Indians managed a few acrobatic buckets of their own, including this no-look finish by Johnson, but Payne kept the pressure up as Brock DeWerf backs down his man here, and then Nick McMillan pulls up and fires off a dagger. Not to be outdone, the Indians' Tony's ups the ante as he spins, hangs, and then drills his own 12-footer. It had gotten more competitive for sure, and that's when Payne made his move. Two big perimeter shots, one from Adam Miller and then another from big man Kyle Lynch brought the Panthers back within one and we were set for an exciting finish. You and Adam hit back-to-back -back three pointers in the fourth quarter. I thought that was the turning point of the game. Uh, what happened on those two plays? Um, Adam, like, he's just, he was struggling in the first half and then we told him, like, you know, just keep shooting, they'll come and he finally hit one and then Nick finally found me wide open on top of the key and I knocked it down. Uh, we had, I know on mine, we had a uh, entry pass into Brock and he had the big kid on him. And then he uh, kicked it out to Nick and then Nick made the extra pass and I was wide open for the three and I knocked it down. And then uh, I know it was kind of the same thing on Kyle. I mean, we kicked it in and Nick had it and kicked it up to Kyle and Kyle knocked it down. Lynch would give Pena its first lead since the early going at the 354 mark. And then Miller came up clutch when he drew this enormous and one, which he converted. Payne would build its lead to as much as six with help from this big takeaway. The kangaroo was grooving again, but the wind never felt like it was in hand as Carlisle continued to come up with big shots. It wasn't until the Indians missed three consecutive free throw attempts that Panther Nation was finally able to breathe a little easier. With just seconds left, Payne hit just enough free throws of their own to seal the win and complete the comeback. Came back from a double-digit deficit in the first half to get this win. Started a five-game home stretch. How big is this win tonight? I mean, it's huge. It's huge for the guys. The guys are fired up. You know, I, I'm, uh, I'm a little fiery myself, so I'm pretty fired up as well. Uh, but it's big. Uh, it's huge because we would like to get our fans just completely involved in all of our games. I mean, we've been on the road 15, 16 games, something like that. 
So to be back at home is awesome. It's just We just want to protect our court. You started a five game homestead tonight. How big is this comeback win? It's really big. I mean, we kind of had, we've been struggling. We had a, we've had a lot of adversity this past week. We had a tough loss here in Greenville and to come back tonight is get a, get a good win underneath four belt. I mean, people always talk about this Carlisle team. I mean, they're a tough team. They're uh, hard to beat. I mean, we come out and we played tonight.